All right, guys. Uh, thought I'd make a video here, kind of an informative video, and also showing off something that I recently set up, and that is a compact flash hard drive for my X68000. I've shared this on a couple of forums, and I've had a lot of feedback, mostly from people who own these machines and want to know how they can put in a compact flash hard drive in their system, because it is awesome not having to swap floppy disks around not having to worry about writing floppy disks or floppies uh, the data on the floppy disk degrading over time um, and for the most part every piece of software that I've tried on here does work now there are a couple of games that don't but it, it's really nice to have the compact flash setup built in with uh, tons of apps and games and really cool software so uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you here how this works and thumb through the menu and give you a little tour and then in the second part of this video I will break open the case and show you guys for those of you who want this set up for your machine how to do it and it's really not very difficult at all it's actually surprisingly easy so as you can see, it boots up really quickly, and there's no disk in the drive at all, so it's booting right off of the compact flash. Now, you do need a keyboard for this. In order to navigate the menus, you do need to make sure you have a keyboard. You should have one anyway if you've got an X68000, but if you don't, you will absolutely need one. So I've got a couple of folders here uh, that have miscellaneous games uh, in here, and I'll just pull one up just to kind of show you the loading times. And I'll pull up one that's a bit loading intensive, which is Maho Daisaku Sen. This one takes a while from floppy. It's actually three disks. And there it is, it is loaded. So instead of me having to swap around three different floppy disks, I would still be waiting for this thing to load. It is now completely loaded and ready to play. So there is no, uh, there is no more loading that is needed. Uh, so you can see why this is really a, an ideal setup if you've got an X68000. Um, but not only are there some really cool games on here, but also some applications. Uh, specifically, in this particular hard drive image, there are a ton of MDX files to just about any video game, classic video game that you can think of. All right, so we go down to music. We'll launch this application here. All right, so uh, in here, as you can see, sorted by manufacturer are tons and tons and tons of uh, MDX files. For those of you not familiar with an MDX file, it's basically just raw code for the synthesizer itself. Uh, so, uh, just to give you an example here, we'll go to Konami, we'll go to Castlevania, and we'll pull up the Castlevania 3 soundtrack for the Famicom. Graphic equalizer. So these are just all of the files in the Castlevania 3 for Famicom folder. So there are hundreds of these files on here.
lots of arcade titles as well as some of the uh, X68000 exclusives. There's just a lot of fun to be had here, especially if you're a fan of the old uh, FM synthesizers. So, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so if I reset and hold down the help key, and this was a nifty little feature that was included in this hard drive image by Super Deadite. And this is actually uh, allowing me to boot into the operating system, which is uh, SX Window, which is essentially your graphical user interface for this computer. Now. I, there are some uses for this. For, for in my particular setup, I mainly use this as a game console. So, um, I'm sure eventually I might find a use for having this, uh, this on here. Let me type the command. But for now, it's really just more of a novelty of having the, the operating system on here. But uh, so there you have it. Um, now, I guess for you guys who want to stick around and see how I did this, um, I'll crack open the case and we'll take a look. All right, so I've got the case off here. And uh, what we're looking at is here's your floppy drives. And over here is your power supply. And what we've got here is uh, installed where the hard drive would be is a SCSI to IDE converter. And uh, attached at the end is an IDE to compact flash converter. And you can see I've got a, a two gigabyte compact flash drive installed. It's actually pretty straightforward. The, the, the hardest part here is finding this custom SCSI cable that uh, connects to this. Um, it, it's actually a proprietary cable for the X68000. Now you've got two options here. Uh, one is you could locate a SCSI cable. You have to have a SCSI capable system for this particular setup. You could either, if, if you're your system already has uh, a cable in it. If it's the HD model, then you're in luck. It'd be a lot easier. If not, then you'll need to either find a cable, which could be a little tricky, or you can make one yourself. And in this case, uh, I did not make this one. This was uh, made by somebody else. Uh, this was purchased off of Yahoo Japan auction. So um, what I had to do was uh, wire in my own Molex connection here, this uh, standard PC type Molex power connector, uh, which is actually pretty simple. The hard drive power connector, which is proprietary for the system, has both 5 and 12 volt uh, power lines with a ground in the center. So really it's just a matter of rerouting, clipping off the old connector and rerouting the connections to this Molex connection. Uh, and then that allows you to connect your power up to your, uh, your converters. But that's basically it um, as far as the hardware goes. Now, what you need to do is make sure that everything is set to default on your converter. Um, there are several converters out there that you can use, and some of them have different dip switch settings. So just do some research and see uh, what the settings are for the particular converter that you purchase. But you want to make sure, uh, in this case, I've got it set to SCSI ID 0. So uh, this is important because when you go into your system and tell it which device to boot from, you're going to tell it to boot from SCSI 0. Um, and that way it'll boot from your compact flash card. So if I just turn the system on, you'll see the activity light start blinking as it's loading the OS. And, uh, and that's pretty much it as far as the inside goes. Now for writing your own hard drive image, if you go to the NFG Games forums, uh, there is an X68000 section and there are several users on there who uh, collect these machines and have built these hard drive images. They're pretty easy to write if you've got a compact flash to USB converter. Um, you, you, there's plenty of software out there that allow you to write these images to the compact flash. 
and then all you have to do is plug it into your machine and you're off to the races. You can also use, uh, there are some utilities out there that allow you to modify these images where you can view the files, rename uh, certain folders within the file structure, or, or manipulate these files however you'd like um, if you don't like the way the default system image is set up. But uh, it really makes it very easy. Honestly, the hardest part is tracking down the hardware. So uh, the, the, the cable being being one of the toughest parts of, of doing this is finding that cable if your system doesn't have one already. Because it can be a trick to find one just loose that's not already installed. Um, so uh, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message. Hopefully this is a help to some of you and will answer some questions that I've received about uh, this setup. And uh, hopefully it's not so much of a myth anymore and something that uh, you guys who own these awesome machines feel like taking on it's definitely worth it not having to use floppies uh, really goes a long way so uh, as always appreciate you guys watching and uh, see you next